Hey everybody, it is Jennifer Hour from Jersey Family Fun, and I know they are calling for a rainy, gloomy week with back-to-back -back days of rain, and I thought, what better than to show you all some of the fun things that you can do across New Jersey that you can do inside, because rain or shine, it's still possible to have a lot of family fun across New Jersey. So I wanted to start this series with a look at the Tuckerton Seaport. The Tuckerton Seaport is one of our favorite attractions. We've been working with them for a number of years, so we're very familiar with all the things that Tuckerton Seaport has to offer. And while you may think, hey, Seaport, that's outside, what about all the great activities? Yes, Tuckerton does have a lot of great outdoor activities for kids and adults to do, but it also has a lot of wonderful fun inside. So definitely listen to these five tips. So the first area that we love to explore, the Tuckerton Seaport, whether it's rain or shine, is the lighthouse. It is one of the, it's in one of the buildings off the path, the boardwalk, the Tuckerton Seaport boardwalk, and you can come check it out. We're gonna tell you what's fun to do downstairs, but here up on the third level, you can actually take the stairs up, I'm gonna reflect that up, and go all the way out to the lighthouse. So whether it's a rainy day or whether it's a beautiful day, you get a great view of the Tuckerton Seaport and the surrounding area, and it's definitely something that we recommend that you start your visit with on every visit to the Tuckerton Seaport. So the second thing you can do at the Tuckerton Seaport on a rainy day is check out the lighthouse building. In particular, on the second floor are trains and a variety of trains. So there is an exhibit that talks about the history of the trains and the railroads in this area of New Jersey in Tuckerton. There is a train, I'm going to tilt this a little bit, there's a train play table there, there's some other train memorabilia, and then there's also a train that goes around the track. And you can see there's a train on the shelf there. Go ahead, turn it on. My son's going to turn on the train. I'm gonna spin around so you can see that. This train laps around on a track around the ceiling, like right below the ceiling. And on the main floor here is also another train that does that. So if your kids are into trains, definitely an area to take them to and check out. So our number three thing to do at the Tuckerton Seaport on a rainy day is to check out the Life on the Edge exhibit in the visitor center on the top floor. This is a multi-display exhibit. I'm gonna show you around so you can see how much fun it is, but there are lots of things in this particular exhibit area for kids to see, touch, explore, and watch. And it's definitely, whether it's a rainy day or not, definitely a place for you to hang out here with your kids, but also on a rainy day, great place for the kids to just come and learn. Let me show you. So when you come upstairs to check out the visitor center and the Life on the Edge exhibit on the third floor, you'll first be greeted by this orientation theater where there's a five minute introduction to the National Historian Reserve. The kids can watch a movie. We usually either start or end our time up here at the Life on the Edge exhibit in this area. Videos can start at any time. It's like it said, just a five minute video, but it really gets into the area and its history and its importance to the region. And then this area is usually staffed with a volunteer who's happy to answer any questions you have. There is an interactive video here, which looks like they just changed it up now. Cool. So you can touch different part buttons and learn different things about this aquatic environment. You see now you've got the view from a kayak and the view from a helicopter. And learn about the changing landscape. There's an area here where kids can pledge to help improve our world and our environment. And then you can see, I'm gonna go quickly through these exhibit areas, but a lot of things for the kids to see, explore, pull on, push on, to learn more about our natural environment. So a rainy day does not have to keep you inside. If you're gonna go anywhere inside, come inside to the Tuckerton Seaport activity here where the kids can match up the animal name with the animal shadow. There's boxes here that can be opened up and explored. I love this, it's this gigantic viewfinder. An area here where you're learning about what lives in the marshes. More video, more video. Some matching up pictures and twisting and turning. You can see artwork created by kids. You can learn about what that flashing light might mean. 
and so there you go that is upstairs life on the edge a really quick look at it the number four thing that you can do at the tuckerton seaport on a rainy day is to check out the different animals that they have on exhibit yes there are farm animals outside but inside the tuckerton seaport particularly in the visitor center at the on the bottom level are turtles in their tanks there is a horseshoe crab and other little creatures that you can see and the number five thing that you can do at the Tuckerton Seaport on a rainy day is visit the Jersey Family Fund Kids Quarters in the downstairs floor of the Visitor Center where every month there are different projects that kids can make and take with them. They're all included as part of your admission price and they're relatively easy to make. I can show you here, we've got sun catchers going on, there are duck puppets going on, turtles here out of paper plates, jellyfish, there's always a neat craft going on. and. Those are our five things to do at Tuckerton Seaport on a rainy day. So when it's rainy and gloomy outside, don't let that weather keep you inside or keep the kids bored. Grab them, put on some dirty coats and come outside and come down to the Tuckerton Seaport and check it out, all the indoor activities that you can do. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.